Hi, Freedom One here in God.TV. And today I would like to talk a little bit about um, exposing cults. Uh, as you know, I did a video series on uh, m you know my personal cult experience and how I was able to get out of it. But uh, you know, something the Lord's put on my heart um, is uh, Psalm 12 for uh, 2012 for this year. And if you look at that psalm, it, there is a lot speaking about the tongue this year and, you know, about speaking falsehood and flattering lips, a double heart they speak. And, and I just, you know, you hear lots of things going on about uh, candlesticks being put out and, <laughs> and such that we know is going to happen because there's just going to be a lot of you know, as as we go through this thing here, um, it, you know, judgment happens in the house of God first. So, you know, we're coming up against a lot of exposure stuff that the that God is is purging out things out of uh, from His children. He He's got to separate the the wheat and the tares. So, with uh, you know, Psalm 12 in mind, um, and, and with cults and stuff going rampant, it's, it's going to keep growing of people exposing it and whatnot. Um, but the enemy knows this and there, there is a right way and there's a wrong way to handle things. And so I want to address this stuff because, um, along with exposing cults and whatnot, there's been so much wounding involved in the process. And what can happen is the enemy can grab hold of the emotions and turn a very important and necessary thing that needs to happen to warn people, to you know, rescue people from cults or whatever, and turns it into a bad thing. Uh, can make the person that's making the plea look nuts um, can draw the cult members to cling even tightly to the cult. <laughs> and that's the kind of stuff we don't want to do. First off, we know that, um, you know, God set up a, a method for going through um, in Matthew 18, 15 through 17, where he says, if your brother sins, go and show him his fault in private. In private. You start off this exposure thing in a certain way. There's a reason for it. Because some people will repent right away. If you just start blaring it out, um, you'll miss that opportunity to bring somebody to the Lord. <laughs> so you start out in private. If he listens to you, you have won your brother. But if he does not listen to you, Take one or two more with you, so that by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every fact may be confirmed. Um, you know, that's where you're going and you're, you're saying, well, this happened and here's the word. Uh, these things don't line up. You get other people that kind of like, yeah, you know, that doesn't quite line up. You know, with my past cult experience, um... This part didn't quite work because the way the cult was set up, there wasn't really an eldership, and everybody was kind of separated, and it was hard to bring a couple people together. Um, you know, the cult leader had already poisoned everyone against me, so it didn't quite work. But then you have your next part. If that fails, <laughs> it says, if he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector, which is basically you walk away. But before you walk away, there's the tell it to the church. So it's the how you tell it to the church. It's first and foremost that you need to do is to rid yourself. I mean, you already have the pain and, and whatnot. You've already seen all the bad stuff. But you need to get clean yourself. You always start with you. Um, carnal man 
wants to look at other people and begin to target and attack but you have to worry about yourself first so obviously dealing with soul ties and the other thing I really want to stress is this is the tie of the institution and so it's more than individuals it's also breaking off from the whole thing uh, cleaning your house of any of the error that you went through or objects any things and including gifts or, or whatever you really need to discern and pray and just set everything before the Lord then you need to separate your emotions this is this is very very important if you're going to deliver a message you have to separate the pain the emotions all the stuff you went through from the message that's so very important that you need to deliver because carnal man agrees with the other of lies wants you to you know wants to bait so you know you have to divide pain from the actual spiritual issues at hand well, let's look at Jesus he lived righteously he lived holy even unto death and your example and your witness is going to be really important as you expose stuff because when you expose it remain blameless and there won't be anything for the enemy to tongue lash you back with okay so we're not targeting people we're targeting the spiritual issues and we're displaying the fruit you put the fruit before somebody they have to see it so the next part is to testify you're honestly going to testify what happened what brought you to your conclusions the fruit born and then we're going to reveal and that is how the fruit does not line up with the scriptures so this is what happened this is what the word says they're not jiving and you don't need to go after the person and attack and, and whatever because the righteousness and the holiness of the word next to the rotten fruit stands on its own stands for itself so we're not going to attack humans about it and uh, you know another another little side note is you know anything you sit under will have free reign amongst anyone that's under it so if the leader is doing XYZ and you start to notice a pattern within the cult of XYZ well you expose that spirit um, that proves the, the fruit is what proves that something hasn't been repented of something's not right here because it's a cycle you can see it you don't have to you know go and attack so and lastly I want to talk about the whole reason why I'm doing this video why do you do things a certain way it's because you love the people you love the people that are behind, that are left in it. A lot of times when people are in a cult, they are completely blind to all the stuff going on. And myself included, I would um, make all kind of concessions and whatever for the leader's bad behavior. And that is what happens in a cult. And by speaking and attacking the leader instead of going to the root and showing the fruit in the word and you start attacking the leader what happens is is people flock and rally and support the leader even more and leaders will often use this stuff about see we're right because they're attacking us we're being persecuted you know so 
if you don't go about this the right way, you're not helping anybody. The enemy is, I mean, you're taking a good thing, a necessary thing, a very important thing, and the enemy can twist you around and flop the whole thing uh, because it makes you look irrational. You know, if you start using the word to attack people with it, instead of using the word as an exposure of the fruit, you, you use the, the fruit and the word to go with your testimony. You don't use it to attack the people because then, like I said, it, it just, it rallies the people um, to support the leader and his, his or her um, statement of, you know, these people are AWOL and, and whatnot. Um, it really needs to be that way, especially if you if you really care for the people. Um, because if you go and attack what they love, because they can't see it. They cannot see it. If they're in sin, and it's what they want, and they can't see it, and you point out and you say, you're a sinner, and this, is, this person's evil, blah, 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 you know. You know, deaf ears, they don't want to hear it. But if you instead back up and only expose the sin, expose the wickedness and stuff in a non-threatening manner, it causes people to stand back and look at the evidence. I mean, it's like you're a lawyer. You're presenting the evidence, then the jury must decide, okay? But if you don't do it with love, you have to do it with love or it shuts the door. If people see you not loving, <laughs> um, they, they cannot receive because all they hear is this person's bad or you sinned or you're evil or you need to repent. That's all. That's all they hear. They miss the, you know, the love part. So there really is a way to do and this. And now I would just like to pray for all of you out there that um, have that burden to expose a cult. And uh, I'll just pray for you right now. Lord God, I just ask that you would fill up your servants as they expose darkness. That you would fill their minds, their hearts, and their mouths with your truth. Lord God, that their mouth will come out as a fire. To speak your word and your truth. Jesus, that they would move as you move, that they would say as you say, and that they would do so in your perfect love. I pray this in Jesus' name.